Welcome to the Albert and Billy Show here on WUAT Radio, AM 1110 on your listening dial, and Channel 18 Valley TV, and also YouTube. Don't forget, you can check out all our episodes on YouTube. So check them out. YouTube, Papa's favorite thing to do that he's never done. <laughs> Billy, I'll tell you what, you're in rare form. I'm never and at, when you guys see this, of course, it's going to be a little bit later, but he's all decked out in orange today because Tennessee as won. we're filming this episode, radio listeners, uh, y'all know we won last night, Tennessee did, and even our producer, Allie, watched it, which is a true miracle, a Christmas miracle. So there was 10 million plus one. <laughs> yes. Tennessee come from behind last night in a very dramatic style. Talk about waiting to the last second to do anything, but they pulled it off. So Papa is dressed to the hill. I had, UT. I, I had my cap on. I pulled uh-huh, it you off. should have brought it in. Ten, UT cap, but. Well, it, it was a great, great win, but it shouldn't have got that close. Tennessee's quarterback is nerve wracking. Garantino. It just makes me nervous every time he's on the field. The only thing you can guarantee about him is he's going to throw an interception. I know, I know. He threw two in a row. And then some of the penalties we made were just stupid. And it nearly cost them the game. I think that's indicative of your younger players. It is. It is. Well, we got a few announcements, radio listeners. So listen up. Uh, the Sharon Rogers Singers are going to be coming to the historic Lincoln School this Saturday, January 4th. The music will start at 6 p.m. And, of course, everyone is invited. And also, uh, the Powerful Group of Alcoholics Anonymous, they meet at First Southern Baptist Church on Main Street. The 12 and 12 book study is at 5 p.m. on Mondays. Open discussion is at 5 p.m. on Thursdays, and currently a Joe and Charlie Big Book study is at 5 p.m. on Saturdays. So all meetings are open and held in the lower level Old Fellowship Hall. Everyone who thinks they may have a problem with alcohol or drugs is encouraged and welcome to attend. That's at First Southern Baptist Church, hello, on Main Street. And radio listeners, the Wonset Free Will Baptist Church Closed Closet is open once again from 9 a.m. to noon this Saturday. Uh, they're located on the Wetzel Cumberland County line out on Lantana Road. Anytime you need information about that, give Betty a call at 881-3032. And Papa, how are you today? You know, Billy, uh, you I look think good. you're in a really good mood. You yeah. look good. I, the first time I've seen you all year. No, I know it's been I a saw year. You earlier, it's David. been a year. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone! I uh, hope everybody uh, had a, a good holiday. Me personally, I'm glad that they're over. I made no New Year's resolutions. I haven't yet, but I think I'm going to. The, the hardest, I made a few in my head. I just didn't announce them to nobody. Well, that way you don't have to worry about it. Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The hardest thing for me to do in a new year this microphone is bonkers. to learn to write a check instead of 2019. To, to I got to put 2020. Like 2020, that, the show. <laughs> that sounds like forever. good vision for a man to have. It's perfect vision. Perfect vision. It sure is. 2020. <laughs> Happy birthday to Mindy McGowan, Citizens Tri-County Bank. Happy birthday, Mindy. I uh, made sure I would embarrass her today. So happy birthday, Mindy. Hope Mindy, you're having a great birthday. Mindy, if I were your boss, I'd let you have the day off. <laughs> they gave her a birthday dinner up there. Oh, did they? Yeah, and I was invited, and I got to eat some of it. Well, good deal, good deal for you. I had left over. It was good. <laughs> well, Papa, guess what time it is. Trivia time. It's trivia time. Now, Billy, you should know this one. Then that makes me nervous. Usually when he says that, I do not know it. When, what do you call a glass container that contains jelly? It's called a a jar. A jar of jelly. Oh, okay. But it's a glass jar. Some people might call it a pint or a quart or whatever, but it's called a jar of jelly. Yeah, that's true. I said you should know that. Yeah, but usually it's something crazy. So well, your mother makes a, normal. Your mother makes a lot of jelly. 
She does. Good jelly. She gave me a jar of uh, strawberry preserve, strawberry jelly, and a jar of peach preserves for Christmas. Ooh, yeah. And I'm about ready for another jar. You need to make me and Allie some uh, squash relish. I'll give. Did you like that? It's good. Isn't I've it? got two jars in my car. I'll get them for you. Ooh, we lucked up today, Allie. <laughs> I keep them in my car in case somebody wants to buy one. You need to sell it. I've, I've, I we've been telling you and telling you. Put it on the market. Bruce and Peggy. Lee. Lee. That's two for two. Well, not that, you know. Now, Bruce Lee, Peggy Lee. For dinner, I had a serving of soup. What was it served in? A bowl. A bowl. A bowl of soup. <laughs> a bowl of soup. These are very simple, aren't they? So I haven't had to ask my wife line yet. A drop from an eye is called a tear. A tear. I thought that was a pretty question. This is a now get this, <laughs> get this. A Genesis vessel. Wait. A pretty question. <laughs> I liked it, Billy. <laughs> I don't like a lot of my questions. They're stupid. <laughs> Yeah, they are, aren't they? I have to try to stoop, stump you. I try to stump you. You sure do. And other people do. Other people do. Oh, you're in rare form today. That woman in Dunlap, she thought that I was making these questions hard just because of you. I wanted to stump you. See, I, I said, knew it. But listen, I said, no, I'm wanting to stump you, the <laughs> listeners. Yeah, but I'm the one that has to answer We're going to ask them to somebody. Well, I know. A Genesis vessel. What's the only vessel that you can read in the 50 Oh, no, it's ark. Okay, an ark. An ark is the only uh, vessel that I but know. But so that's the only thing that... Uh, is there anything else that they, they got? They don't have on? cars. Definitely not cars. cars. No, no bicycles. No horse and buggies. No unicycle. Okay. The no. warrior. You, you, so far, you're on a roll. The warrior princess. What? Xena? Xena. This will be a first would, would alley if that? I don't have to say lifeline. Would you, would you know that one? Oh, I'm sure she's not. They're too, they're too easy. But no, 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 I'm not complaining. No. Now you should this know this. This will be historic if I don't have to ask Lifeline once. Okay, now listen. I don't you, think it's going to You were the one that told me this. I learned this from you. Oh, crap. A false name is also called a... An... Alias. Alias. I did not know what alias was, and you told me. Okay. An apple of... <laughs> Blank will Apple keep the, a day will uh, keep the uh, doctor away. That's right, but you got to throw it hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's as easy as pie. Pie. All right. You're on a roll. I can't believe this, boy. I have to redo my been, questions for next week. You must have been in a good mood because they've never been this easy. Tobacco product larger than a cigarette. Cigar. Cigar. Genetic letters. Uh oh, here we go. Genetic, I ruined it, Allie. Okay, there's I three letters. It. Genetic letters. They have investigated the crime scene. What are they looking for? Three letters. Uh, CSI. Oh no, no. no. That's the name of what? the program. <laughs> That's who's looking for. That's who's looking for the blank, blank, blank. Three letters. D E A. D E D. D. Blah, blah. It's DNA. D E A. Oh, God. D E A. Okay, I want to say you missed that. But you should have got that one, too. Well, I got. What was the question again? It definitely uh, tricked me on my. Say I the said question. Genetic letters. Oh, that does make That sense. deals with the gene. The yeah. gene. Okay, I get it now. All right, now. Well, that was my dumb moment for the day. Clever like a fox. What do you Sly call as a fox. Sly as a fox. And that's the reason you can't ever catch them getting your chickens. They're sly. Good point. Fox Good point. hunters have a hard time catching them, too. Yeah. They, they they're, just hunt for the fun of it. They're right? slick. Population survey is called a... Oh, the... We're going to do it this year. Uh, census. Census. 
Man, you did well. I can't believe the DNA. Yeah, I definitely heard that question wrong, by the way. I, just, I was thinking so. No, you didn't hear it wrong. Different. You heard it right, but you took it wrong. Uh, you, yeah. Was, completely wrong. Who was the first DNA. person who took a census? Ooh. It's good. in the Bible. In the Bible, in the book of Numbers, mm -hmm. they did it twice. Really? 605,000. Yeah. Plus. Because they were punished for it afterwards. What? Yeah. And, and listen. When the biblical censuses are are taken, they only count males above 20. Mm -hmm. No children are counted under, no one under 20 is counted, and no female is counted. So if there's 605,000 males above 20, when they take the first census after they come out of Egyptian bondage, how many people do you think are led out of slavery in Egypt to the promised land by Moses? How many people did he have idea. to be responsible for? What? A lot. It, I'm, I'm saying... Millions. I say two million. Okay. My pastor That's says fine. one and a half million. Jim, are you listening? Well, those are both good answers. And yeah, it's but 605,000 plus men above 20, that gives you a whole lot of leeway. Because you're not counting the, the ones under 20, and there's going to be a lot of them. And there's going to be a lot of women. Yeah. doesn't make sense why they didn't count. Everybody, I don't can get you, that. If if people could realize the number of Israeli, a number of Ira Israelis <laughs> that wound up in Egypt to begin with were seventy. Okay. Seventy souls came to Egypt, and two million came out. Wow. Four hundred and thirty years later, though. Oh. Four hundred and thirty years okay. later. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That's Learn it for something. population. That's it for population. Population, <laughs> population survey. <laughs> census. We're through with that now. Did you guys like our census survey today? <laughs> That's the truth. And he brought it up. 605,000 plus men above 20 were counted. Wow. Yeah. And it was just, a book of numbers, I believe, is what that's for. You numbers? Said, <laughs> that You're talking sense. about numbers? That makes complete. Total Moses sense. wrote the first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. So he wrote those first five books. I remember having to learn all that, and, uh, and Nanny done this. Nanny and Nada Myers um, in and Lola. What is that? What was that called? We done it in train union. Uh, okay, that was that would it was be like drills, Bible drills. Bible, what do you call sword drill, sword drill. Uh, yeah, sword drill. that yeah, was Barbara. That. that was Barbara Roberts and Carolyn, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. it's Barbara Roberts done it some too. Yes, yes. Bible drills is what they called it, I think. Yeah, Bible uh, drills. sword drills. What you call we it. had to learn all that. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, but then I. You know, we got to where he knew it by heart. See, I never did. I never did have have the benefit of going to church when I was young. Mother and mm -hmm. Daddy were not Christians, and I didn't have to go to church. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out where the boys went on Sunday morning. <laughs> I, I didn't have anybody to play with. <laughs> well, um, let's talk about some sports. Sports of all sorts. Yeah, we'll thank our sponsors too. I want to thank Citizens Tri County Bank, Pumble Family one. Dentistry. Bilberry Insurance, be sure to go see Susan Frank and Sadie for all your insurance needs. Scotty's, home of the Scotty Burgers, Papa says, right here in downtown Pipeville. The Loom, our next door neighbor on Cumberland Avenue, owner Judy Yates. She's got a little bit of everything there. Literally. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, the offices of Emma Boynton, Michael Walker, Lisa Wheeler. Uh, thank you guys. And also Morgan Brothers. They're, they've got two restaurants now. Wow, they are. Morgan's Old Main and Morgan's Barbecue up the valley. Well, how many more they're going to open? I don't know, but. Uh, they open another at Park Creek Falls? Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know that. They might start selling franchises. I know. I, I truly didn't know that. They could open up in Cleveland. Well, the one up the valley is. Uh, is where the Rock House Cafe uh, was. It's nice. They have good food. Mm -hmm. Can't argue with that. No. But I don't want to argue anyway. Right. No. Right. 
Let's don't argue about DNA or senses. <laughs> sports? Sports of all sorts. You want to talk about bowls first? Sure. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that will consume most of our conversation time. Well, yeah, because that's the been first, going on the last The two first weeks. SEC team to get their feet wet in a bowl during the bowl wars, all Texas 37. A &M. Texas A&M. And they won. They won. Most SEC teams did win. We went seven and two. All right. We had nine participants. Out. Seven Do you, you realize that's 25% <laughs> of all the teams? <laughs> 25% of all teams that participate in bowls were out of the SEC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's impressive. It's impressive. That is. 37 bowls and nine of them yeah. were from out of the SEC. And, and I thought and we were done 10. really well. I told Marvin there were 10. <laughs> if LSU wins the national championship, the SEC will finish 8-2. Uh, and two. Well, yes. But that's still LSU, LSU's already won one game. Yeah, but they win again. I know there won't be one. any more teams. No, winning. no. But still, hey, be but, a good uh, thing. You think they're gonna win it? Yeah. I do too. Even though Clemson is a amazing program right now, that's won two of the last three national championships. So it's well, the number no three and the task. number the number three and the number four team also played that same day. LSU played Oklahoma. Yeah, and Clemson Ohio State game was great. It it was something else. Yeah, it was something. But I would say LSU played like the number one team. They and did. Oklahoma played like the number four team. <laughs> <or> Lord, <laughs> they were out of their league. They, they were out of their league. They were. I believe, well, I don't know how you could put anybody else in there, though. Oklahoma got there because they earned it, I guess. I guess, yeah. But yeah. Memphis also won in their bowl game. They they, uh, they did they win. They beat Penn State. I thought they got beat by Penn State. 53 to 39. Memphis or, won? That's what I read now. Okay. Well, in that's the Cotton great. Bowl, they were in the Cotton Bowl. Okay. Well, the number one team, LSU, didn't they play in the Peach Bowl? Mm-hmm. Like we uh, said, they destroyed Oklahoma. 63 to 28. Yeah. It was fun to watch, though, because I was for LSU. LSU's quarterback <laughs> passed for seven touchdowns and ran for another one. Mm -hmm. He looked like the, the highest Heisman. Heisman Trophy winner. Jalen Hurts looked like also ran. Yeah, he did. He, he did. looked terrible. But I don't think it was a matter of how bad they played as, as well as it was how good LSU Yeah, played. LSU just... Played great football that night. They were on another planet. They were. They were on they another were. planet. But anyway, uh, Clemson, that game, that, that that was a good ball game. Great game. 29-23. That, that one, one, like the Tennessee game, it come down to the very end. But it was a very well played game. And you know, I, didn't, I didn't realize though, that was Clemson's 29th straight win. Well, that's something. Yeah. That is something. I didn't realize Because they that. don't play El Chico competition. No. They've been playing in these playoffs pretty regularly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But anyway, Mississippi State, uh, they messed up. They messed up. They got beat by Louisville. Uh, Ten points. That was SEC's first loss. That was their first. And then Florida won. They were in the Orange Bowl. Yeah, they beat Virginia. Virginia, 36-28. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kentucky and Virginia Tech had a classic conference. Mm -hmm. uh, it was and in the Kentucky belt. Kentucky ended up winning. 37 to 30. They scored mm -hmm. two touchdowns, wham, wham. I know. I really, I didn't know Kentucky would win, to be honest with you. I'm I glad thought they, they would. Did. I thought they did would. You? Maybe it's just a gut feeling. Which the ACC is a little bit down this year, besides, besides Clemson, obviously. But... You know, Florida State and Miami are not what they usually, you know, are. No, no, no. no Virginia not. Tech's not either, so. Well, let me ask you this. <clears throat> Alabama had an off year. Yeah. Because they were not in the playoffs. Right. But. Poor guys. <laughs> Alabama probably still won, what, 12 or 13 oh, yeah, games? Yeah, they, yeah, still a great and, year. And a bad year? Yeah. And Tennessee, I'm tickled to death because we won exactly, eight. Exactly, exactly. I'm tickled to death. <laughs> oh, I know, especially after our big one and four start. Yeah. Yeah, that was not good. It was not. The teams we lost to. They but all you, went to a bowl game, though. It, 
eight out of the 12 teams on our regular schedule mm -hmm. went to a bowl game. Yeah. Eight out of 12. So that, that made it better. So you only had four pushovers. Yeah. And you, and you only lost five total. Mm -hmm. So you you lost some, you lost us some pretty good teams. Absolutely. Like Even Alabama. Georgia State went to a bowl game, and that yes, was the Georgia worst State loss. Went to a bowl game. BYU. And that was our first loss, and BYU went to bowl game. You know, so that made it not look as bad, you know. Tennessee wound up, uh, let's see, that was the 75th Gator Bowl. Mm -hmm. They wound up in the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Mm -hmm. And I think it was good for the Tennessee fans to not have to stay in Tennessee oh, yeah. to watch a bowl game. Definitely. So they rewarded mm -hmm. our fans by compiling that seven and five record. But yeah. I, I don't know that it was so much what Tennessee delivered to the bowl picture as what the bowl picture took away from Tennessee. The bowl picture folks yeah. that put those fans in the stands that paid for everything, they were the ones that wanted Tennessee fans. And the only way they could get them yeah. was put Tennessee in a good bowl. That's right. So That's right. our fans responded by giving them the fans they wanted. Yeah. And uh, it brought about a victory in the Gator Bowl for That's Tennessee. right. And there's a lot more Tennessee fans there than Indiana fans. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, shoot, yeah. Yeah. But it, Indiana, I don't think they won a bowl game since 1957. Since 1991, it said. Oh, well, I thought it was 57. No, 91. But it's, it's been a while. But now their their quarterback, uh, Peyton Ramsey, he's was good. his name. He did, he he's did. named after Peyton Manning. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, but let me tell you, that, he's so good. Tennessee helped him a little bit by get, throwing that name in there. Yeah. <laughs> but Tennessee, the first four times they were in the red zone, they gambled on fourth down and missed. I know. Then the next three tries in the red zone, they had to settle for a three instead of a TD. I didn't like that. So it looked like because of the rebound of, of uh, the other team, Indiana, Indiana mm -hmm. they caught fire in the third quarter. Yes, they, they did. And they went ahead. They were a like completely different team. And so then half. that put the onus on Tennessee in the fourth quarter. We got to do something because yeah. there's no fifth quarter. That's right. It was down 22 to 9. So with about five minutes left on the clock, Tennessee, Tennessee scored their first TD. Mm -hmm. Then that onside kick must have caught them off guard. Yeah, it did. It because did. in 30 seconds, we've got two touchdowns. I know. In 30 seconds. And it, it took us, uh, <laughs> we couldn't get a touchdown in three whole quarters. Three and, and a half got, quarters plus. We got two in 30 seconds. <laughs> That's the way the ball bounces. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you, if you turn a basketball loose out of your hand, you know it'll bounce straight back up. Mm -hmm. but if you drop a football, you don't know where it's going to bounce. No. And the that's onside, the way it is with the game. That's true. The onside kick was a very good idea. But and anyway, uh, to give the other team credit where credit is due. Yeah, they play good. They, even though they were down, by one point, 23 to 22. Mm -hmm. They still played like a team together. They put the ball down there where they needed to put it oh, no. to try a field goal to win the game. Yeah, it was nerve-wracking, And wasn't it? that player had already missed an extra point yeah. and, a, and a field goal. But yet he had enough leg to get it up there. Mm -hmm. He just didn't get it down in between the yes. goal posts. And so I'm Tennessee so glad won. he didn't. So really, we can thank. We need to send him a <laughs> thank you card. We really do. We really do. I need to get his name. <laughs> we do. <laughs> that was a nerve-wracking game. It really was. Well, now let me ask you a question. With Tennessee and uh, seven other SEC teams, no, six other SEC teams. Yeah. Posting wins, mm -hmm. in, and we've got LSU to go yet. Where does that put us in the grand scheme of things, poll wise? Will we have more than one in the top five? Yeah. Will we have more than three in the top ten? 
Uh, possibly. It's possible. Yeah. It really is. Mm -hmm. When you get to looking at whenever the uh, Georgia, Alabama, LSU, they're going to be Florida. There. And Florida, I think, will be now too. Georgia, Alabama. I think Tennessee will be right now. LSU. In the top 25. Georgia, Alabama. Tennessee will be in the top 10. No, 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 no. But uh, Florida could be in there. Yeah, yeah. I think we could have four in the top 10. I, I think that could happen too. I do. And I don't know where Texas A&M will wind up. I know. Didn't they have eight. Just eight. They, they, they might have wound, wound up with nine wins on the only teams that lost was Mississippi State and Auburn. That's only two teams. Yeah. Auburn, Mississippi I State fired their coach. I know. Morehead. They'll get a new one. They'll get yeah. A new one. Boy, it's going to be a, a different scenario next year with <laughs> Lane Kiffin at the controls at Ole Miss. Ole Miss. It'll be interesting to watch Ole Miss. I hope Miss. we don't play Ole Miss next year. I know we don't play them every year, so no, we, we may not. But um, I hate to admit it, but well, Miss has had some really good seasons, but they struggled the last two or three years. But he'll have them back. I hate to admit back. that, but he'll have them back. They'll be they'll be in the hunt. And and then some sure. player, some coach that was coaching one of the bowl games, yeah, they zeroed in on him and they said he's going to be a helper to Lane Kiffin. Yeah. So yeah, we we'll have to watch out for Ole Miss. That's that's for sure. Okay, basketball. Yeah. The men's. Let's don't talk about the men's. Boy, I reckon they they man alive. Eight and four. They are playing terrible. Terrible is very descriptive. Yes, I mean it's so unlike Tennessee. We have to take into account, you know, Turner's out. Lamonte Turner is done. He couldn't play with his shoulder. That's a big loss for Tennessee, and they just don't know who to go to. But now, our, so far, nobody's stepped up. They're not going to, don't they? I don't either. Our, our, our top scorer had nine points the other day, and he was not our top scorer. I know. Uh, for what? For not e anybody to get in double figures? That's pathetic. But, I mean, Bowden wasn't, he, he wasn't there. No. Uh, it doesn't look good. The Wisconsin game, it, that was... 68 oh, okay. to 48. Yeah, that was terrible. But now on the distaff side, on the other side of the gym where those girls play, they've been doing. They've been We're good ranked games. number 22, and I see that we'll go higher. Yeah, we and played our young first team. We are very young. But team. we played our first SEC team yesterday. Yesterday in Missouri, and beat Missouri 77 to 66. Mm-hmm. And they struggled with, uh, they were saying on TV that Tennessee is the tallest team in the SEC and possibly the whole country. Really? Yeah. Well, Davis had her share of the scoring, but where did Oh, yeah, she's it, got to every But where's time. Key come from? Yeah, she's a freshman. 19 points? Yeah. We she's 6'5", 6'6". Six, 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 six. We tall. can use that, buddy. Oh, yeah. They're recruiting her sister, too. She's really good. But did you ever think you'd see tennis, uh, Kentucky ranked at number 19? Not Basketball. Really. They yeah. were number 21. Oh, on the men's? Yeah, but they, no. they pulled up to 19. Yeah. Uh, on the men's side, North Carolina's struggling this year, too. Yeah. It's weird to see. Well, what goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. uh, those good teams will be back. Oh, yeah. Because of recruiting. In North Carolina, I think the reason is because they're uh, point guard is injured and he's going to miss a few games. I think that's why they've been struggling. In Kentucky, they got to get a little uh, playing time under their belts. Mm -hmm. and then they'll be better. Yep. They they don't get to keep a player for one year. Yeah, I know. They're one I, and done. I wouldn't want to do that ever, every time. I that's the sign to. of a good coach, though. Yeah. Also a good recruiter. Yeah. You can recruit those guys to come and play for you every year, and then you say them, you say bye as they leave the door. Well, I know uh, after one year. I don't know about that. So if you're that good, I don't a coach, like that. I don't either. But if you're that good a coach, go for it. Yeah, I think they should have to play two years at least. Well, I do too. Mm -hmm. I really do. But now, and I I'll, keep hearing that that's going to come to fruition soon. Well. 
I hope it does. I, I, I don't think that it will. I it, hope it, so. I think in in not in my lifetime, mm -hmm. but in your lifetime, you'll probably see uh, basketball team players, good players, paid well. You think so? Yeah. Uh, because there's too many too many incidents happening under the table yeah. where they buy this player's parents a home, you know. And, True. And True. Uh, and the things that these players get, you don't know how many times they get a an envelope in the mail with five hundred dollars in it with no names oh, yeah. you know you don't you yeah. don't know yeah but i'm sure these alumni with the wherewithal to do that they do that yeah, yeah. oh i'm sure i'm sure rare is the coach that coaches faithfully truly by the book rare unfortunately that's true and that's very unfortunate. But anyway, that's it in sports. In the world of sports. Well, all right. Coming up after the break here on the Albert Bailey Show, it's good old Albertology. That's coming up after the break. Stick around, folks. Welcome back to the Albert and Bailey Show here on WAT Radio and Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube. It is time for Albertology, Papa. I'm ready. Let me tell I you. see a picture of Doris Day. Now well, you would not remember Doris Day. Well, of course I've heard of her. I mean, well, this this went back into the heydays of Hollywood when right. they were having a, a honeymoon. Every time you went to the movies, mm -hmm. you saw a celeb, and everyone knew her or him. Yeah, we're talking about. And she Clark. was a big. She, well, she was a. She big was an icon. She was an icon. Yeah. Uh, one of the songs Very that I remember her singing was K Sara Sara. Yeah, I've heard that, that means whatever will be will mm -hmm. be, and it was a beautiful song. I've heard it. Was she really? Yeah, I've heard you, it. You've not played it on here though. It's an uh, old no. song. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a negative on that, but I have heard it. But she was a singer, and mainly she was opposite Rock Hudson, because he was the. Well, she was an actress then. She was an actress and a singer mm -hmm. and. Uh, a beautiful lady, mm -hmm. and she was like the yes, girl. Yes, she's very pretty. Well, she would be portrayed like the girl next door that you would most want to marry, you know. Right. But right. anyway, she was 97 years old when she died. Oh, okay. So, so she passed away during the, these are all people that died last year. Okay. Uh, Peter Fonda, his oh. daddy. His daddy was Henry Fonda. Uh -huh. Jane Fonda was a sister. Oh, wow. is a sister. Okay. And he died last year. I didn't know that. Cokie Roberts. She was a TV journalist. I didn't know she died. Yeah. I remember her. She's, She's on the news 70, all the time. 75 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Conway. You remember Tim? Yeah, I knew he passed away. I hate From the that. Carol Burnett show. And he won four Emmys. Yeah. He was his performance. He was 85. 85 years old. He was so old. talented. So he was hilarious. Oh, he was. Uh, I'd say really he was before his time. He yeah, definitely. Probably, he probably had to gear himself down to keep himself uh, situated where people could understand him. That's true. His mind probably was going further up, uh, in the future than we could go with him. Absolutely. Bart Starr, famous quarterback. Oh, I got really? to see him play Billy in college. I've heard of him. He was a legend. Oh, yeah, he was good. Good. I didn't know Carol she died. Channing, Carol Channing. I didn't know she died either. Uh, Ninety-seven. Gentlemen prefer blondes, I think, is when she first got her start. She was a comedian. So she too. was a comedian. Yeah. But she was so uh, naive and, and mm -hmm. open and transparent. She also was ninety-seven years old. Mm -hmm. Ross Perot. He ran for president. I remember him. I didn't know he died. Ninety-six. He was a billionaire. Yeah. Billionaire. He was eighty-nine, 89 years old. And, and the origin, the original Mitt Mouseketeer. Okay, now I Karen didn't know. Karen Pendleton. Died. So yeah. she had been the first uh, on Disney Channel, the, you know, the Mouseketeers. Okay. Well, that that you got to go back a long ways. To yeah, get that. that's true. The Iacocca. He him. was one that came up with the Mustang idea for the Mustang and the Pinto. Okay. But he was best known probably for being the head of Chrysler Corporation. Yeah. And okay, there's his picture. He He's died 94. at 94. Wow. 94. 
And then Gloria Vanderbilt, that's uh, oh, yeah. her son, uh, Anderson, Anderson Cooper. Cooper. She uh, was 95. She was an heiress. Oh, she, she was filthy rich, she? Had she had I didn't know Diane. Diane Carroll died. She died? Yeah. She won. She was the first black recipient of the Tony Award for Miss Actress. Yeah. First black lady to ever get that award. 84. That's, that. that's 84 is not old, is it? No. Mary Tyler Moore show produced Valerie Harper. I knew she. Yeah. She. Valerie Harper uh, had been sick for a pretty good while. She was just 80. Yeah. She. But she. Uh, she, she had been sick for a pretty good while. She battled that for a few years. It bothers you uh, when more. you come across. Well, I didn't read all of them, but I picked out the ones that I thought were being no snow. Well, me. Luke Perry. And he was just 52. That was a shock to everybody. Luke Perry uh, from Beverly Hills 90210. And See, I didn't know. He was on a uh, bunch of movies. A uh, Cameron Boyce. He was really um, young. Yeah, the, uh, off the Disney Channel. He was just 20. Yeah, he had a seizure. Died of a seizure. He oh. was in uh, the Descendants movies that are so popular on Disney Channel. Um. The, that's the shocking deaths there, Luke Perry and Cameron Boyce. Uh, very shocking. And yeah, like I said, the, the last one I said was only 20. That's had a young. seizure, yeah. Real sad. That's young. Yeah. The youngest uh, death I had to help with while I was at the funeral in those 10 years was mm -hmm. an 18-month-old baby. Mm -hmm. Man alive, you talking about tearing your heart out. Yeah. That little old baby, Looked like a ball I bet. lying on that embalming table, mm -hmm. and we put her in a little old bitty casket just long enough to hold her. Mm -hmm. And whenever the funeral was over, brother Mr. George Reed said, "Ever you carry it to the hearse?" Yeah. I picked up that little baby and I carried it to the hearse with my heart grieving. I'm sure. And I told Mr. George Reed, I said, "Bud, next time you get one like that, you carry it." <laughs> yeah, I, I can that see why. Unemployment in the surrounding area, we uh, all around us we have counties that have problems with unemployment, but none is destitute as Bledsoe County. Around us we have Bradley County, Coffee, Franklin, Chattooga from Georgia, Whitfield, McMinn, Van Buren, Grundy, Meigs, Sequatchie. Marion, all these around us, Ray County, Golly but we bad. have the highest rate of unemployment than any of these. That's that's not good at it's all. Not good at all. Not good it at all. Sounds like the whole Sequatchie Valley and our neighbors are suffering from that. Well, but theirs would be in the three point. Yeah, maybe. they're doing a lot better. And than us. we're we're in the five point. Right? Yeah, they're doing better right now. Anyway, did you know? that a can of chicken noodle soup contains 32 feet of noodles. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> I cut that out and I thought, that's interesting. <laughs> In a can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup, 32 feet of noodles? That is, said, a, that is a lot. Did you that know? That is a, a whole lot. That 40 million people, including one out of every six children, suffer with hunger in the United States. I mean, I didn't know that. They have to but deal with I'm hunger. Mm -hmm. Forty million. There's only three hundred plus million in the United States. That's, that's uh, over ten percent. Yeah, that's that's. Did horrible. you know? Uh, no. I mean, this one now. This is a joke, but I, I got it. It's I'll a joke. Here. Okay. I, I got it here. Why does everybody stand up? Mm -hmm. at the middle of the seventh inning in Chicago and sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game when they're at the ball game. Because <laughs> Harry Carey told them to. <laughs> you heard him do it? Yeah. And yeah. he'd have a celebrity sometime. They call it the seventh inning stretch. The seventh inning stretch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a new study found out that parents actually do have a favorite child. For instance, in the Bible, Joseph was one of 12 sons. Mm -hmm. He was the favorite. Mm -hmm. Jacob was the favorite of his mothers. Yeah. But if you have to ask, it ain't you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
These are jokes, but good, they, I got them in point. alcoholic. Good point. <laughs> okay. Retail chain clothes. They're, jokes are, okay. there are going to be more jokes later. But okay, okay. Those, I put them in the <laughs> <laughs> In 2019, Sears closed the Northgate Mall store back in February of last year. I hate that, because it's because we've been there so long. So long. Payless yeah. shoe stores shut down in March, closing the stores in Chattanooga and one in Dalton, Georgia, after taking bankruptcy. Yeah. Gap announced in December it will close its Hamilton Place store in early 2020. Wow. And Forever yep. 21 closed at Hamilton Place and Charming Charlie. What, what's going on with these places? Uh, I think one thing can, is Amazon. Yeah, Forever see. 21 announced bankruptcy in September and closed the Hamilton Place store. That That's a problem for me. Like, we're getting lazy. All right, it's good that you can do stuff on the computer, but only to a point. I can't you know, do anything on a computer. I can't spell computer. Yeah, but you don't want to, you know, they shouldn't. The gut, there need to be a way where there needs to be restrictions on it or something because you're, you're putting people out of business. Well, and that's not right. We're going to see more and more people go out of business. But I don't, we don't want to see you that. You walk into Walmart now and you can only find one red stroke and everything else you have to do it yourself. Yeah, I'm not doing it myself. Well, I mean, you will if they do away with that one. I just won't go there. I, I, this That's stupid. Ethan Allen Interiors closed its furniture store in Hamilton Place back in January of last year. Lifeway Christian Store had been there many times, mm -hmm. many times. They closed its bookstore near Hamilton Place back in May. Your Albertology Day is depressing. Paul. Fred's Incorporated <laughs> filed for yeah, bankruptcy that back in affected us here. Closed a store in Pikeville, Tennessee and in Mont Eagle. Uh -huh. Sleep Outfitters closed its mattress store back on Shallowford Road. Okay. And Dress Barn closed all of its stores, including Hamilton Place last summer. I hate to see that. I do. Well, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't say you could. I'm just saying I hate to see it. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the answer <laughs> because it's the habits of the shoppers and the money mm -hmm. in their billfolds being redirected where it's spent. Mm -hmm. And I think most of the, I see what happens to little towns like Pikeville is malls started opening up and people right. got cars where they didn't have cars. Well that right. changed dramatically the scheme of things, the landscape in town. Okay, yeah, now you, then the malls are Now something. they're dealing with they're it. Dealing, there's a different culture that's being played out in America and you have to go with the flow. Uh, you don't have to go with the flow. No. You can argue with it. I don't, to. well, I just, like I said, there just needs to be some restrictions on it because. Well, you can't do that in a free enterprise society. Well, you can't do that. They do it on everything else, so why not? I could, listen. <laughs> they put restrictions on everything, Papa. If I had the money, I could I could put up a skating rink in Pikeville. I could open a theater. But do you think either one would ride? Actually, yeah. Theater, yeah. Yes. A theater, for sure. Drive, drive through Pikeville tonight about well, 9, 9 o'clock. Well, if you there was see either, one if there was either one of those things, you would. They're out of town, do they? A lot. Of, yeah, that is a problem. They go I, out to eat. They go out to shop. That I agree. When we, when we, we need su to support local businesses. That's true. When we left the store in 1995, Carolyn and I. We were freed slaves. We didn't have to spend our money at that grocery store that we had to for 42 years. We go in where we wanted to go and buy our groceries. We went out of town because we wanted to eat out that night. Yeah. So while we went out to eat, mm -hmm. we shopped. Yeah. That was that was then. Well, I mean, that still goes on. Now, I guess I would buy everything on Amazon if I knew how to work. Well, no, trust me, not everybody's doing that. Go to a no, mall. They're no. still jam-packed because yeah. some people actually like to get out and do stuff. And you listen, know, people... Or off a computer all the time. That's boring. People have money. People have money. I'll guarantee you. Yeah, you, go to these, also. you go to these restaurants <laughs> out of town, and you'll see people buying $25 suppers 
for yeah. the husband and the wife and the kids. I don't know what they're getting. Yep. I'm not kidding. People have money. I just don't. But we have some good restaurants here now. We have good like, food. You, you know, we need to support it. You know, if you can't complain about nothing being here if you're not going to support the things that are. They can't make it if we don't support them. You take me out to eat tonight, Billy, and I'll eat right here. <laughs> Two hours into a flight, the pilot comes on the intercom and he says, we just lost an engine. Wait, wait, wait. Now, hold up. Is I'm in jokes joke? now. I'm in so, jokes. You got to tell us. Is over. You got to tell us that. I'm not. I can't read your mind. First mistake ever made. <laughs> How many times have we heard that, Allie? <laughs> the pilot says, we just lost an engine. But it's all right. We have three more. But the flight will take an hour longer. A half hour later, the pilot comes back over the intercom and he says, we just lost another engine. Don't worry. We have two more. It'll take worry. us another two hours, though. In the back, a passenger rolls her eyes and says, great, to her passenger friend that's sitting beside her. Mm -hmm. If we lose the last two engines, we'll be up here all day. <laughs> I don't think you will. Don't think so either. And the people wonder She's why people wonder why I don't want to get on a plane. <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> I think you would enjoy it. We Bye -bye. lost one engine, we're going we lost the second engine, but don't worry, we got two more. <laughs> A salesperson stops by to see one of his business customers. All right. Not a soul is in the office except a beagle emptying waste baskets. A beagle? A beagle. And the beagle says to the guy, I'll be finished in a few minutes. He's emptying waste baskets. A beagle said that to the guy. And the guy said, Incredible! Does your boss know what a prize he has in you? An animal that can talk. <laughs> and the alarmed beagle says as he dropped the wastebasket, No, don't tell him. If you tell him, he'll have me answer the phone too. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. You got a beagle in the wastebasket. <laughs> he can talk. The boss don't know he can talk. A weeping woman bursted into her, her hypnist, hypnist, the man that does hypnosis, his Hypnotist, office. yeah, okay. I have been faithful to my husband for 15 years, but yesterday I had an affair. She cried to her mm -hmm. doctor. The guilt is killing me. I just want to forget that it ever happened. The hypnotherapist shakes his head and says, oh no, not again. <laughs> Bless her heart. She just wants to forget it. I don't blame her. Yeah. It was my first night caring for an elderly patient. When he grew sleepy, I wheeled his chair as close to the bed as possible and using the techniques I'd learned in school, grasped him in a bear hug to lift him onto the bed. Okay. But I couldn't clear the top of the mattress. So I grabbed him again, summoned all my might, and hoisted him up on top of the bed. When the night shift nurse came on duty, I recounted what had happened. And the nurse looked puzzled and said, that's funny. Usually I just ask him to get in bed and he does. <laughs> he didn't ask, did he? <laughs> no, he didn't. These are Albert's jokes. Okay, okay. Let's hear them. Uh, a couple decided at the last minute to go out for New Year's Eve. Finding all their favorite places too crowded, they finally wound up at a cheap looking restaurant. Right. As they were about to sit down, they noticed that there were crumbs on the table, on the seat, and greasy smudges on the table. After they cleaned the seat and wiped the table, they sat down. And a waitress finally approached not good. to see what they wanted. And the man said, I believe I'll just take coffee. <laughs> and the woman said, me too, but make sure my cup is clean. In a few minutes, the waitress returned with their drinks. Yeah. Okay, she said, putting down the cups. 
Now, which one of you wanted to clean cup? <laughs> I just got one. That'd be my cute lady right there. <laughs> a woman a woman goes to the doctor worried about her husband's temper. His the temper. Doctor, her husband temper. The doctor said, Well, what seems to be the problem? Mm -hmm. Doctor, I don't know what to do. Every day my husband seems to lose his temper for no reason at all. It's mm -hmm. starting to scare me. The doctor tells her, I think I have just the cure for that. When it seems your husband is getting angry, yeah. just take a glass of water and start swishing it in your mouth. Just swish, swish, swish. And they do that, nothing else, until your husband leaves the room or decides to go to bed. Okay. Two weeks later, the woman returns, looking fresh and reborn. <laughs> the woman says, Doctor, that was a brilliant idea. Every time my husband started to lose it, I swished with water, and I swished and swished and swished, and he calmed right down. How does that glass of water do that? The doctor informed her, the water itself does nothing. It's having to keep your mouth shut that does the trick. <laughs> Boy, he told her to. He really did. Keep your mouth shut. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Our monster. I think she was causing a lot, of, a lot of his temper problems. I think she's causing all of it. <laughs> Our monster's good at math. Our monster's good at math. Not unless you count Dracula. Oh, shoot. Here we go with these again, Allie. What did one math book say to the other? Hang on. Look. What did one math book say? Math book say to the other math book. Um, I hate this because when you say it, I'm going to be like, dang it, I should have known that. Don't bother me. I've got my own problems. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I do too. Why is six afraid of seven? Why is six afraid of seven? <laughs> oh, no. Because seven, eight, nine. Oh, I get it. Seven, eight. Seven, nine. eight, nine. So six don't want to get eight. <laughs> Where can you buy a ruler that's three feet long? Where can you buy a ruler that's three feet long? I have no idea. At a yard sale. Shoot. <laughs> a young man asked an old rich man how he made his money. Mm -hmm. The old guy fingered his worsted wool vest and said, Well, son, it was 1932, the depth of the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. I was down to my last nickel. I invested that nickel in an apple. I spent the entire day polishing the apple, and at the end of the day, I sold the apple for a dime. The next morning, I invested those 10 cents in two apples. I spent the entire day polishing those two apples and I sold them at five o'clock for 20 cents. Mm -hmm. I continued this system for a month by the end of which I had accumulated a fortune of a dollar and 37 cents. <laughs> then my wife's father left us two million dollars. <laughs> he died. <laughs> the wife's father died and left us two million dollars. All right, one more. One more. Okay. A guy asks his friend for a cigarette. Mm -hmm. The friend says, wait a minute. I thought you made a New Year's resolution to give up smoking. I did, the guy says, and I'm in the process of quitting right now. I'm in the middle of phase one. <laughs> What's phase one? The friend asks. I quit buying. <laughs> I don't mean to quit though. <laughs> I'm not going to buy any more. <laughs> I'll just bum them. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'd say a lot of people do that. Uh, we'll we'll uh, mention this uh, on here. Uh, Miss Elizabeth Robinette, uh, as we all know, celebrated her 100th birthday. 
Uh, recently, she is the county historian. She's a Butzel County historian. Has been for she many, many years. She can tell you anything about this county. So, uh, happy birthday, Miss Elizabeth Robinette. Uh, hope you had a great birthday. And uh, you also got a key to the city. They gave her a key to the city. And they also uh, honored her with a lunch on her birthday. And uh, yeah, it says she's a service county historian for decades and taught students for decades in her early years. So just wanted to mention that. Uh, happy birthday, Miss Elizabeth, on your 100th birthday, 100 years young. Happy birthday. You know, I'm, I'm wondering about people get the, that key to the city. Mm. What if that old ever did? <laughs> Could you open up every store? I, I don't be, know. We'll have to ask her, won't we? <laughs> be nice. Be nice. I know it. Well, guys, thanks for listening to us on WUAT Radio. Thanks for watching on Channel 18 Valley TV and YouTube. We'll be back next week for another edition of the Albert and Billy Show. Have a great day, folks. See you, so. folks.